So in this video we're going to show you how to take out the front subframe of an NB Miata. NA Miatas are very similar. We've already got the wheels off the car. Now we're just raising it up. We've got the heater going in the garage. It's pretty cold today. First you can go ahead and take those brakes off. I like to do it at the hub. You can take the sliders off if you need to. Check them. Brake pads or anywhere. Take that rotor off. If you got a heat shield, uh, this is aftermarket, of course, you can take that off. We're just doing it so we don't damage them, but you can leave them on if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, it is. This is actually a pretty, pretty big job. Yeah. <laughs> Tie rods. Oh, no, never mind. I got We've already taken the cotter pin out of the casting yeah. nut. I have to keep the nut back on them, and then I'll tap them with a hammer, trying to get them loose. This is how I do it if you don't have a proper tool. Oh, no, I got mine off. Cool. This is what I have. Just give it a little tap, tap, tappy. Give it a go. I like to keep the nut on just so I don't accidentally fuck up threads. That's my... This is the proper tool you're supposed to be using. Nice. You can pick this up at Harbor Freight. It's Damn, cheap. It works pretty well man. for these cars. Next, we're going to do the uh, end links on the sway bar. These are 949's end links. Stock end links would be just the same. Though. Next, the uh, mounting hardware. This is a big racing beat front sway bar. So they've got support blocks oh, in the top. The We're going to have to remove those support blocks first before you can take out the hardware. It does. You see that... Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Who, uh... Who's hosting it? These threads are super long, so if you got an electric or pneumatic tool, I'd recommend using it to take out the rest of the hardware. Makes makes the job a lot easier. Oh, you got one of those fancy things. Yeah. Oh my god. Next, we're taking out the uh, steering rack. Two bolts on the driver's side have already been removed, and then these are the two bolts on the passenger side. NAs and MBs are both the same in this in this uh, configuration. Now we're just going to hang it in place. There's no reason to uh, disconnect it from the actual uh, steering column itself. Uh, then you'll have to respline it. It gets kind of annoying trying to line everything back up and you start ending up. Oftentimes you'll mess up your lock to lock movement. Now we're using the strut bar to support the engine just for an extra safety measure. This isn't really necessary 100%, but it helps. This yeah, is the uh, cross brace something. in the bottom of the subframe. <laughs> now we're taking out the motor mounts. They're just one bolt, both sides. NAs and MBs are the exact same. Now I'm just going to loosen the uh, lower control arm from the strut. <laughs> Did you lower your? Okay. Go ahead and take it you out. Take and out? Lower down yeah, the yeah. control okay. arms a bit. That. That lined up now we're supporting the, the engine from the bottom, yeah. right at the oil pan. A block of wood and just a cheap jack. Okay. That should be good. Yeah. Now we're loosening the front bolts of the subframe. There's two on both sides. There's a set of two on either side, the driver's and passenger. We're leaving the front bolts in, but just loose. Now we're taking out the rear Ew. bolts in it. <laughs> you can see a drop right here. Sweet. Here's us taking the front bolt out until about four or five threads 
Uh, this way, if anything drops out, it'll catch it. You'll see it here in a second happen. Yeah, I guess. Boom, wow. right there. Ooh. That wasn't there, it dropped a significant amount more. <laughs> now it's just some uh, wiggling and fiddling to try and get the subframe out. You're going to have to move it around uh, your tie rod in links, and you're going to have to kind of shimmy it. You could do it one man. Two man makes it a lot easier because you can balance it on either side and kind of move it around. But if it's just you yeah. in the garage, you could definitely do it alone. I don't have my rubber. That's it. It's out with the uh, control arm still on, the hubs and everything. This is the whole reason why we're taking it out. It's this massive crack right here. This is, uh, I've, I annotated it in my last video, but this really shows the damage. Yeah. Now just taking the struts out. Cue the montage. That's it, guys.